Hi, everybody. Do you know the French for stuntman? I forgot the English version. It's cascadeur. So as we are all cascadeurs, you and me, we, we need to and we should take care of our security. And as developers, security means automatic tests in CSS. And the emoji is, for, is the face of my colleagues when I told them I was talking about CSS and tests. And one of them told me, oh, yes, the, the things with the screenshots, not only. Actually, with CSS, I, re I succeeded to, um, to do those things. No more syntax error, thanks to linter. I test my function with unit test. We'll see that after. I master my update impact. It means when I update my SAS code, I can visually see what changed in the generated CSS. I test visually my, uh, my website with, with uh, tools like Puppeteer. And finally, the screenshot to test visually the changes. So let's focus on those one because we have short time. For those, I will use two tools, the Jest framework to test and SAS. First, I install Jest. Just configure it with uh, two attributes to say where are my tests and uh, how the file are, the pattern of the file name, and then a script to execute the test. Just give me the ability to expect something to be something else. We'll see after how we, I will use it. And then when you test, you get those results. On the other end, I will use SAS, the Node.js version of SAS. I require it in my script. And this is the best part. SAS has a render sync method, which I can pass my SAS code and it returns the generated CSS in a string. So now I have the ability to, I have a function to go from SAS code to CSS and unexpect. Putting all together, I can test my function like this. I import the function SCSS file in the data of render sync. I test my function on a fake uh, selector. And I expect the result to be the CSS I want to be returned by the function. So now, how can I man master the update impact? It means if I change something in the SAS, I want to visually detect what changed in the CSS. So for that, I will use snapshot testing. It means I edit my CSS SCSS code. It generates a CSS. The test is always green because it is the first. Then I re-edit the SAS code, run the test, and as you can see, it's the same result. So everything is OK. And then I edit the SAS code another time. Something changed. Just tell me, oh, something is different. It does not mean it's an error, but it's different. And I have the ability to check what's the difference. And thanks to the update attribute options, I can say, OK, everything is OK. You can update the snapshot. And now that snapshot is the reference. To do that, it just gives a method called too much snapshot. And that's it. You put the CSS and the expect, and that's it. So now we are able to test our function to master the impact of our updates. And for, if you want to dig in, deep, deep inside and see the example for all the other, you can check my uh, repo made for this or ask me on Twitter. Thank you. <laughs>